Hey guys, in today's video, I thought we would do ourselves another comparison. We just recently had a look and just recently revisited the NECA Toys A Nightmare on Elm Street NES Freddy Krueger. Still one of my favorite Freddy collectibles uh, in my personal collection. And I thought to myself after I shot the video, one thing I really should have done was a comparison with, well, his horror rival, uh, the NES Jason. So what I'll do is I'm just going to move Freddy or Nightmare on Elm Street's Freddy Krueger over and let's bring in NES Jason. Now I thought for a proper comparison I wouldn't use the original Jason Voorhees, the one that specifically had the clear plastic hands, the boots, and the mask. Instead what I would use is the one that was re-released that came with the Pamela Voorhees and again all the, uh, the machete and axe because I think that's a better comparison between the two because this particular Jason has the more colored in mask, hands, and, and boots. It doesn't use the clear plastic. So the figures themselves look quite good side by side. Uh, most of the time I have these collectibles still boxed away. So like for example, the Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees, I've still got boxed away in their respected boxes. Um, I would, I'm starting to kind of play around with the idea of having a lot of these figures out on display as they really should intend to be. Um, so just taking a tape measure and just do some size comparisons between the two. Of course, we know Freddy Krueger is seven inches tall. He's a little bit taller, of course, factoring in his fedora. And if we take the tape measure to Jason Voorhees, he's a little closer to eight inches tall. So not quite the very noticeable height difference between Freddy and Jason in the Freddy vs. Jason movie, but at least Jason Voorhees is still a little bit taller than Freddy Krueger. The only one I don't have on display here, at least in this video, is the Leatherface. I think I've actually got him in storage somewhere and I'd like to do a, a re-review of him at some point. But I do like these two particular characters, these two gents. Uh, putting them side by side, I think, is a great way to represent them and, and showcase them. Um, still, I think there's some argument to be made about keeping them in the original boxes and just taking them out from time to time because then you could appreciate them. Uh, I know some collectors have them still in boxes and they kind of just display them in the boxes. So really, you can go either way. That's one of the benefits of some of the new NECA pieces is that they're releasing them in cardboard boxes where you can still pull out the clamshell, take the figure out if you want to, you know, play around and just kind of pose them and stuff. Put them back in the package and then you can slide it back in the box. You're not ruining the box. Whereas like the older clamshells, you would essentially have to cut open the clamshell to get the figure out. And of course, then you would never be able to put it back in because you've destroyed the packaging. So I do like the newer NECA releases are all kind of doing the box packaging style. That's the way to go, I think. As myself as a collector, what I like to do periodically, like if we just revisited these figures, um, periodically though I do like to take them out, kind of just like to look at them, display them, pose them a little bit, and then a lot of times I just put them back in the packaging. But my long-term plan is to get some shelving going and actually have a lot of these figures on display. And probably just have like the, the box artwork behind each of the respected figures, which I think would really look quite nice. But in the meantime, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Uh, I did want to do like this little comparison video because I know somebody probably would have said, you know, could you have compared the Freddy versus Jason, so to speak, in the NES treatment? And there was actually a fun like um, a fan mod that somebody had done where it was Freddy versus Jason. And it was basically instead of the counselors in the original Friday 13th NES Jason uh, game, what they did was they swapped it out with a kind of a, a modded looking Freddy character that fought Jason in the game. That's kind of fun. Um, I'd like to maybe even see it do the other way around where somebody had modded, and I don't think such a thing exists, but modded like a Jason Voorhees uh, instead of one of the human characters in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, which I think could have been fun as well. Maybe such a game exists, I don't really know. But uh, these are great looking figures to have on display. Jason, of course, benefits from having the more posable legs. This particular Freddy unfortunately doesn't, but still they're great looking figures and uh, all the more reason why I want to do a comparison in this particular video so that you guys can see the differencing between the NES Freddy Krueger and his rival, the NES Jason. If you guys want to see more of these sort of comparison videos, let me know down below. And if you haven't had a chance to like and subscribe to this channel yet, Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. You won't miss a beat when it comes to future videos. Certainly more videos such as this and other more videos in general will be heading soon to this channel. So, of course, stay tuned for that. There's always new video content coming up onto this channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.